Today, we're gonna to take a ride through the H. Cooper Black Field Trial and Recreation Area Campgrounds. This area is primarily set up for retriever competitions. Uh, it also has a lot of equestrian activities. So all the campsites have horse corrals with them and there are lots of fields and ponds for dog competitions. So let's go take a ride. All the roads in this area are gravel. Uh, the campsites are all gravel, so it's a little bit of a bumpy ride. Hopefully it won't show up too much in a GoPro. All right, and site one has an easy back end. Pretty level. Got water, sewer, and power. And the trees are fairly close at the entrance, but not in the campsite. And the road around these sites is wide enough that there's plenty of room to get lined up to get into the campsite. And in these first few sites, the horse corrals are across the driveway. Site two, another easy back in. Looks like the power is kind of in the in the way of the camper. In the outdoor area is kind of behind the campsite. And as we leave site two, the road starts going downhill some. Which means these sites will start to be a uphill back in. Not very sight and not very steep. And site three is uphill a little bit all the way in. Again, water, sewer, and power. And two fire pits with this site. And lots of space around the sites if you wanted to put a tent. And site four is occupied. Site five is also occupied. And a small bathhouse right here at the end of the, the row of campsites. And the bathhouses were closed for cleaning, so I can't tell how nice they are. but there is a campground host, so I would assume that they're pretty clean. Okay, coming down the other side of this first loop of campsites is number six. It is occupied, it looks fairly level, a little bit uphill to the passenger side. The water in this site appears to be all the way out at the road which is going to take a 50-foot hose to get to it. The first five sites did not have that situation. Campsite 7 is the same way. It's a nice, easy back in. Fairly narrow site. with this tree somewhat in the site in the way of awnings but the water is all the way up here at the road so in these sites at least six and seven you'll need at least a 50-foot hose uh, and it would appear that eight nine ten and eleven are the same way so this is site eight nice wide site Sorry about the wind. This is a nice wide site, easy in. 
easy out. This one actually doesn't have water at all. Yeah, this site has no water, so it would have to come from one of the other sites with an even longer hose. So that will require probably a hundred foot hose, but site nine, at least a 50 foot hose to get to the camper. And that one is uphill all the way in. Not too bad, but it is uphill. And site 10. And the water is all the way out here at the front for all of these. And site 10 is an easy back in, wide open. And close to the bathhouse. Again, the bathhouse is closed for cleaning, so I can't get in it to see what it looks like. Site 11 is the handicap spot. A little tight with the two trees, but easy to back into. And power at the back of the site. I do not see the sewer, but the water is all the way at the front. So you either have to have a long water hose or a long extension cord. That's the first 11, so now we'll run over to the other loop and check out the rest of the site. All right, site 12 is occupied. It's a little downhill all the way in, but not bad. Nice size site. Site 13, a little downhill all the way in as well. Again, a nice big site, nice and open. And the horse corrals are behind the campers. Site 14 is an easy back in. Maybe a little downhill, but not much. Again, nice big site. Site 15, another nice big site, and it is level. but it is up on six by six framing all the way around the site to make it level. You should be able to see that between the two trees. Site 16 is downhill all the way in, but not very much. And site 17, another easy back in. Go right in here. Fairly open site, it's downhill all the way in and gets steeper back here at the back of the site. Eighteen is another easy back in. Again, downhill in and gets much deeper towards the back of the site. The usable site for a camper or probably even a tent pretty much ends right here at this large tree. And site 19 is occupied. It's downhill all the way in. A nice big site. Site 20, another easy back in. A little bit downhill all the way in. At the back of this site, there's a six by six wall, so you're limited in how far you can get back. But it stays fairly level all the way to the back of it. It's downhill to start, but the site itself is pretty level. Site 21, a little bit downhill all the way in, a little bit of cross slope down to the passenger side. rutted up here at the front of the site. It is a straight shot out the road. Site 22. Fairly easy back in. Fairly short site. It is up on posts um, to level it out so there's a drop off around the site. 
fairly easy to back in and having this open field makes it really easy to back in. Site 23. Another easy one to back into. Downhill just a little bit all the way in and downhill to the driver's side. Hopefully the sun is not blocking the view of the camera too much. It's starting to get low in the afternoon. And site 24. This site is just about completely level. And other than this one pine tree, not much in the way of anything. And site 25 is occupied. And it is right next to wherever the field is here with the arena close by. I don't know if they use that field for parking or if they use it for some of their activities. And site 26. Well, looks like a fairly easy back in. Kind of rough gravel, but easy in. Decent sized site. And this site and 27 are both very close to the arena. Twenty-seven is going to be a little harder to back in just because of that pine tree, but should not be too bad to get into. It's a level site once you're here. Maybe a little bit of cross slope down to the driver's side. A nice deep site. And very good access to the arena. And that is all of the campsites at H. Cooper Black State Park uh, and whatever all the other information is that's part of the name. I hope you find the video helpful. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend camping.